Good morning, everybody. Uh, well, good morning, good night, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time it is, where you are. Um, I'm back with a really short video. Um, my name is Renisha Renee, and I've been sitting here by God to spread love, to spread awareness, to spread his word, um, and to be a light in this world that I'm finding out that I am. But um, this is going to be a short video. I want to talk about um, a little bit of idolizing, a little bit of addiction. Because I definitely just came across a video from um, another um, channel on here. And it was so much confirmation for me. Um, so, when I was probably about 16 or 17, I started smoking weed. And I've been smoking since then. I've stopped a couple times, um, but not really. And maybe two or three months ago. Within this year, I have been feeling this whole entire, like literally this whole year, not like just 2023, like to the date, like this is July. So since last July in 2022, I have been feeling like I'm about to be stopping smoking. Like, and I thought I was gonna smoke for, for the rest of my life. Like, and I've really been feeling like I don't wanna smoke. There's been a couple people that I've that I know that, I, I guess I'm ashamed. I don't want them. I didn't want them to know that I smoked. Um, I didn't want to smoke around them. I didn't desire the need to want to be under the influence around them. And that was because I enjoy them as people, I think. I enjoy their company. I enjoy the energy that we share. Um, and at first, I thought it was just like these certain individuals and then as time has went on I realized you know like I just I just don't want to smoke anymore and I don't want to smoke because I feel like it is putting a barrier up and I've never felt this before but I feel like it's putting a barrier up between me and God's relationship um I feel like I can't hear him sometimes um I feel like I am too tired to get up and be productive and so that triggers my depression that triggers my anxiety and then I just smoke again and it's just become a cycle and um I've just felt the conviction and so maybe about like I said two or three months ago um it was heavy on my heart to just stop and so I just stopped cold turkey I just stopped like I'm about to just stop and um I also was going on a fast well, no, no, no. Let me stop that. Okay, what I said was I was going to do was I was taking a fast. I was fasting from smoking and fasting from YouTube. That's that's what it was the very, very, very first time. And I did fine. And then last month, I was like, all right, I felt the conviction heavy, y'all. I'm like, all right, I'm about to just stop smoking. Like, I'm about to just stop smoking. But y'all, what happened is I could not eat. Like, I couldn't eat. And I lost weight and that made me be sad. That made me start thinking, oh my gosh, like, and it just tapped into a whole nother area that God is working and healing in me and that I'm working on as well. And so, uh, sorry, this dress looks, sorry, y'all. I literally just woke up. I had this dress on, <laughs> just threw it on so I can get in the car. Sorry, it looked crazy. But so, um, I'm sorry. Where I was at? Oh, I stopped for the four days and I couldn't eat. So I couldn't eat. And I was like, I lost like five to seven pounds. And for me, that's a lot because I'm only five three. I maintain between 125 and 135 in weight. Like, and going past 135 makes a big difference. Going under 125 makes a big difference. Like, you can definitely tell the difference in my weight when it fluctuates. And so I was sad about it. Like, what am I going to do? Because I want to stop smoking. But I don't want to lose weight. So what did I do? I researched some stuff, found out that, you know, this is a part of when you stop smoking, you know, to feel nauseated a little bit, to not have much of a big, as much of an appetite as you have when you're under the influence. Um, and I'm not really big on medication. So I wasn't about to try to go find no pills to help build up my appetite. Like, I'm just not big on that stuff. Um, and so marijuana is the only substance and that ain't even a substance. And I'm not even about to go get into all of that because that ain't got nothing to do with what I'm talking about. But marijuana is the only thing that was put in my system. Like, uh, maybe drink some wine here or there, but 
I had a really bad drinking episode in my 20s, and I don't like drinking. I don't like drinking. I don't like how it makes me feel. I don't like not being able to get up the next day doing what I need to do. Like, I got kids that I got to take care of. And I'm not judging anybody at all whatsoever, but drinking just ain't for me at all. Like, it's not for me at all. Like, I was smoking so I could chill, smoking to get creative, you know, but it has literally changed. Like, it's had a hold on me this last year. Like, and not to where, like, I am, like, smoking more, but it is slowing down my progress with building my relationship with God. It's slowing me down from realizing what my calling is, what my purpose is. It's slowing me down from believing in myself because what happens is I smoke sometimes and then I get lazy and then I'm not as productive as I want to and then I'm upset. And then um, when I lost that weight... I was just like, oh my gosh, like, so I'm, I'm just going to have to smoke because what am I going to do? Like, I'm praying, I'm asking God, like, can you help me, y'all? And I st- I had stopped smoking for four days the second time. And I'm just praying, I'm like, God, please, like, and I felt like nothing was changing. And I'm not saying he wasn't doing anything, but like, y'all, I was, I was just a little weak, like physically weak and I was hungry and I did not want to lose any more weight because I knew that would trigger my depression, that would trigger my anxiety. And that would just be a whole nother area and I'm like God I I want to I I want to overcome this. I want to be delivered from this. I feel like there's some places. I know there's some places. I know there's some people who this is going to stop me from getting there. And a lot of people talk about fear in God and I guess this is a moment where I feel that I was messing up. Like, I can't say that I fear, I fear him and to where he was going to reject me. He wasn't going to love me. He wasn't going to still um, protect me and be here for me. But for me to have this feeling, I realized that I was about to be walking um, in disobedient, in, in disobedience because I felt it. I had never felt this before. I had never felt a shame of smoking. I had never felt the desire to not want to smoke. Like I, the desire that I feel to not want to smoke right now is so extreme, y'all. Like God is literally shifting my life. He's literally shifting my mindset. Like he's literally shifting how I treat myself, how I love myself and how I represent myself because I'm going to be representing just not myself, but I'm going to be representing him. I'm going to be representing how he wants us to love for each other, how he wants us to care for each other, how he wants us all to be delivered from the things that that are binding us to sin, confusion, anxiety, depression, fear, like all the things that are sent from the enemy, y'all. If there's anything in your life that, that you find yourself needing or wanting in certain situations that can be a doorway for the enemy and i don't know if i've said this already because i don't try to do this video like three times y'all um but i watch, i just watched this video so yesterday um for the last three days i'm back i don't want to smoke again like and so i haven't and i got some other stuff going on in my life to where it's like oh my gosh like Y'all, I'm I'm just realizing that I'm not, I wasn't just smoking for wreck anymore. I was literally using it to cope, like, because I didn't want to go places. Like, it's like, I'm trying to get a life and I will go out to, um, like some of these women groups and stuff like that, but I wouldn't feel like I would fit in. And I'm going to be honest, most of these women will be older Caucasian women. So I feel like I wouldn't fit in. So what I would do, I would smoke. So I really wouldn't be paying attention to maybe how they looking at me, but I, but I feel like I was yelling, sorry. But due to the fact that I am under the influence, y'all, I don't really know how people are looking at me. Due to the fact that the enemy has had such a grip on my mental, you see, I'm already, like, I'm already thinking before I even get there that people aren't going to accept me. People are going to look at me because of A, B, and C. So let me go ahead and just do this so I don't have to worry about The anxiety part, because I will say smoking definitely chops my anxiety. Like I'm I'm not, I'm not going to sit here in front and say it doesn't, but God chops everything. God is the alpha and the omega. There is is nothing that we can do that God can't do times 10. 
And I'm gonna just put it out there because y'all, I feel like I have actually just been delivered from smoking. Like the last three days, I haven't smoked. I haven't wanted to smoke. I haven't been able to eat as much, but I have been able to eat. I haven't lost any weight and I literally feel free. And I just came across this video this morning um, and this lady was talking about um, how God is cleaning you up. And it was just confirmation for me. Like, thank you, God. Like, I know I wasn't tripping. <laughs> like, I knew I wasn't tripping. Like, I knew this was messing up our relationship. Like, and I'm thankful that he put that on my heart. And I'm thankful... <laughs> And I'm thankful that I was able to hear him because y'all be feeling like I don't hear him. I be feeling like he don't be talking to me. Like, even though he be talking to me, y'all, when it comes to, like, the rejection aspect. And I seen this other video this morning. When it comes to the rejection aspect, like, y'all, when I started this journey, y'all have been so anxious to know, and this is because I live so far in the future. I've been so anxious to know, like, God, what you want me to do? 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 And I came across this another video, and this girl said, sometimes we can get into that 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 um, mode, and sometimes God just wants us to build relationship. Like, and I think another thing I have to keep remembering is that God is not man, <laughs> so. He don't want the same things for me that man wants. Like, he just want me and my heart and my obedience. That's it. That's it. And the things that man asks for, I think I said in my last video, like, your job asks more of you than what the Lord asks of you. And what the Lord asks of you, I feel like it just comes with so much... Anything that I have done that God has told me to do, I get pleasure out of it. I can't say that I felt like, oh my gosh, God, why? Oh my gosh, like I haven't felt like it is a burden for me to do the things that he's asked me to do. Like, if anything, I'm a burden on myself trying to be out here living, living my life and my will and not his will. But um, yeah, so anybody that is out here that is dealing with any type of and I and I don't want to say addiction, but I mean addiction. I, I don't know what else to say for real, for real. Like with any addiction, any substance abuse, um, any bad habits. If there is anything that you feel that you are doing before you go pray, before you go ask for deliverance. You need to take that to God and let him start working on your heart. And and don't be so hard on yourself during this transition because it's not going to be easy. Like you literally are fighting your flesh trying to transition into your spirit. And depending on how long you've been doing it, depending on what it is, um, some things may be harder. But I'm telling you, when he removes it, when he really, really sees that you really, really trying, that you are really, really trying, y'all, he going to come in and he going to take it off. He going to take it off of you just like that. Yesterday was July 2nd. I mean, July 1st. No, yesterday was July 2nd. Yesterday is the guy. Yesterday was the day he just took it off of me. He just took it off of me. Like the desire is gone. I threw away everything that was left in my house of any resemblance of marijuana. I do have one ashtray that I did keep because my sister got it for me from Mexico. So I am keeping that, but I washed it off. I cleaned it. Um, it's, it just looks like now it is just a whatever you call when you go out of town and you get stuff. I can't think of the word right now, but um, what are those called? What are those called? I can't even think of what that's called right now. But yeah, y'all know what the word is. So um, now I'm about to be stuck on what is this word when you get stuff when you go out of town. It ain't important. It ain't nothing but a distraction. 
So yesterday was the day, like I said, that he took it out for me. So take it to God. Lay it at his feet. Let him know. I really desire. He already knows because he put it, he put everything on you. Like he put it all on you. Like the desire to want to quit. He did that. And so take it back to him. Keep doing. It. If you stop one day and start tomorrow, stop again. Quit again. Throw it away. If you got people around you who are influencing that, stop hanging around them if they can't respect it. People are going to do what they do, unfortunately. And that's why God has placed us here to be to give our testimonies, to be examples of being obedient, being examples of knowing that the deliverance is what do I want to say? I was going to say available, but I don't feel like that's the word that I want to say. But basically that you can be delivered from the things that you want is obtainable for you to be delivered from the things that you feel like are holding you back. The things that are slowing you down from progressing in the kingdom, progressing in the word, progressing in your life, in your business, in your relationships. Because a lot of these things are hindering growth in a lot of areas. You know, like for me, I couldn't hear. Like, I feel like I couldn't hear him. I wasn't having dreams. And I have dreams. And I would listen to all these prophets say they had dreams. They had dreams, y'all. And I was getting salty. Like, I ain't had no dream in a long time. He ain't said nothing to me in no dream in a while. And I'm like, nah, I'm cool. This messing up my relationship with God, I'm cool. I'm cool. It ain't nothing out here in the world that is worth me messing up my relationship with the Lord because... People flaky, <laughs> if y'all ain't realize, people are real flaky, but who ain't flaky is God. He gonna show up and show out each and every time, especially when you standing and walking in obedience. And I don't want y'all to feel like, oh my gosh, I gotta, I gotta sacrifice this or I gotta sacrifice that. Oh, y'all, it's two cardinals outside playing. Oh, there was three cardinals. It looked like two men and a woman. <laughs> two men and a woman. <laughs> two males and a female. It's early, y'all. I think it's only like six something in the morning. But um Yeah. Don't don't feel like it is a burden for you to be obedient. Don't feel like it's like, oh my gosh, because y'all, I'm telling y'all, when when you start doing it, you gonna realize how God is just gonna make you realize like, oh, this is what I'm supposed to do. It's, it's, it's not going to feel like a burden. It's, it's going to feel like a gift. Like, I know for me, it feels like a gift. Like, oh my gosh, like, I'm going to be able to save money. God, he definitely ain't giving me no money out here to be going to buy no weed. <laughs> like, so I'm going to be able to save money. I'm going to be able to save my lungs. I'm going to be able to help deliver some people. Like, what whatever it is, I just know that it's time for me to stop smoking. And I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be more joyful at this moment in my life. And I'm so happy that God has given me the strength to know that I can do it. And to know that I'm not in this alone. Like, I'm ready to... I don't know what other things that I do right now that he's going to convict me of and show me. But when he comes, baby, I'm ready. Like if, like I said, if, if I got to keep trying, I'm going to keep trying. Because I know he's not going to give up on me. And I'm daggone show not going to give up on him. Like, So, I know this message is crazy. I know it's everywhere. I am still kind of sleepy a little bit. It's been a very long weekend. And yesterday was extremely, extremely emotional. Yesterday was a lot. Sometimes I feel like um, when I have these moments and transitions... Um, spiritually, I feel drained. Like, I feel, like, drained. Like, yesterday, um, I went to a different church to go see a family member get baptized. And a lot happened. The Holy Spirit was definitely there. And I just feel like it was a lot. Like, not in a bad way. It was just a lot. 
for me emotionally, mentally. It was a lot. And so today I'm just a little tired. So I apologize if, if this is everywhere, but the point of this video is to say, keep going. Whatever it is that has a hold on you, know that God is delivering. God is moving swiftly right now in this hour. There is things and people and places and rooms, marriages, businesses, children. There are so many things that God has for us, but there's things that we can't take with us. And if we want the greater, we have to let go. And also in the other video, the lady was telling me, um, well, she well, well, I'm sorry, she was telling me, she was telling me that God just got people cleaning up in general. It might not be that. It, it could be eating habits. It could be your house. It could be the way you dress. It could be the way that you talk. It could be other things like this woman said what God, excuse me, what she felt was to stop drinking, stop smoking, and to remove all her piercings. And so she did so. And she's already seen the turnaround um, in her life from being obedient. And that's what I want to encourage everybody to do today. If God has placed something on your heart, whatever it is that you are doing that is blocking you from moving forward in the kingdom, let it go because it's not worth it. It's, it's not worth it. Sex is not worth it. Drugs are not worth it. Money is not worth it. Fame is not worth it. Um, Eating all that food is not worth it. Snickers ain't worth it. A Pepsi ain't worth it. Like, and some people may laugh at this, but there are a lot of things that we use and we go to and we cope with before we go to him. And that's idolizing. That's what I talked about in my last video. So I hope this message reached whoever it's supposed to reach. I hope you have a beautiful day. Um, know that you're not alone. Um, also, Pray and ask God to send you the people if you feel like you need support. Like if you need, if you feel like you need support, you feel like you need like outreach. If you need to go to um, like a rehab, if you feel like you need to go to therapy, whatever else it is that you think you may need, if you feel like you can't do it on your own, even though I'm here to remind you that you are never on your own. God will never leave or forsake you. You are never on your own. But if you feel like you need a little extra help, God put us all here to help each other. Ask him to send somebody your way. Align yourself up with being able to have the help that you need in the flesh, in the world. Because God understands, like, he, he understands that some things are difficult. He understands that sometimes we need a little bit of push, a little bit of motivation, but you still have to go to him and you have to give it to him. Okay? And don't don't just don't be so hard on yourself and if this video comes across anybody else oh y'all look let's see if i can show you real quick y'all look at the cardinal right there <laughs> good morning oh oh what happened well never but um don't don't give up keep going don't let Anybody tell you, oh, you you changing, you are. You are changing. Don't let nobody tell you you think you're too better. You are better. You're not better than them, but you're better than whatever it is that's blocking you from your relationship with God. That's blocking you from becoming your better self. This is a time for us to just let go of the old and step into the new and step into it with our heads up, with our crowns fixed. And this is, this is for everybody. This is for men and women. If anybody that's struggling with anything. It's time to let it go. So y'all have a good day. I love y'all. I hope this message really makes some sense. Um, and know that you got it. And if there's anybody else that is dealing with this, um, if there's anybody else that has, please leave a comment so that somebody else can be encouraged with your testimony. Okay? Have a good day. Love y'all. Be blessed and be a blessing. Spread the light.